Well, it is a pretty nice day in the River City here in 2021 anyway, but 120 years ago tomorrow, Jacksonville would have been like hell on earth. May 3rd, 1901 was the day a small fire grew to engulf most of what is today the urban core. Katie Jeffries has a closer look at the day that reshaped Jacksonville. There isn't much sitting at the corner of Davis and Beaver Streets, but in 1901, here sat the Cleveland Fiber Factory. Spanish moss was sitting outside when embers from a neighboring stove landed in that moss and a sudden and strong east wind began to blow and the great fire began. There was an explosion and Spanish moss, uh, bird feathers, horse hair, cotton, all went up in a great torrent of fire and then began to blow through the town. The wind carried the embers and flames rapidly, consuming a path of wooden homes and buildings. People began emptying into the streets, running east towards Hogan's Creek, creating this iconic image of the fire taken as people ran down Duval Street and Inferno behind them. Running for their life, some of them carrying the few possessions they have across this bridge, and not long after that point, the bridge is lost to the city. The nearly 40 firefighters Jacksonville had were in their horse-drawn carts, and they hit another problem, just trying to get to the fire. These were dirt streets that had become very sandy with no rain, and the equipment was bogging down into these sandy streetways. The fire stopped at Hogan's Creek, the water a natural barrier, but it was far from over. Then at that point, the fire turned and roared to the St. John's Riverfront and then began lapping up the rest of the town, going back. And so began what became known as the Market Street Horror. A large group of people waiting on the docks to be transported across the river were suddenly trapped by fire to the north and to the east and had no choice but to jump into the St. John's River and swim. And the docks were actually burning as people uh, ran off the docks. And there were boats and ships trolling in the St. John's River to pick up the people running for their lives. Incredibly, only seven lives were lost, three to drowning and four to the fire. But the damage was extensive. 146 of Jacksonville city blocks were reduced to rubble and ash. In the days after, martial law was instituted and 10 cities popped up, the largest in Hemming Park. But people were quick to start the process of putting Jacksonville back together. This fire was on a Friday and on Monday morning, a permit was pulled to start construction. By 1905, this was Forsyth Street. Jacksonville was coming back, building bigger and better buildings. But Emily Liska says the toughness of the firefighters and the people that rebuilt our city is just as important to the legacy of the fire. I believe this legacy will forever be with our fire department and our firefighters. So the importance of safety for our city. A resiliency in a city that literally rose back up from the ashes.